lovers, it's Sarah, and the Scrappy Moms have released two brand new stamp sets for the month of July, so I just wanted to show you my first project made with one of the sets. This set is an absolute must-have. It's called Many Thanks. I know lots of us need thank you cards. I know I need to make a ton of thank you cards, and this set is helping me get started with that. It's just a whole bunch of different sayings for thank you cards, and then down here at the bottom... Um, it says thank you, and then there's several sets that go along with it, so you can customize it more to your liking. So, I love, love, love this set. And then the other set is called Blast from the Past, and I just want to give you a little sneak of it. I'm just going to give you a little sneak. Yep, it's a mustache. So, if you want to see the rest, you can go to my blog, or the Scrappy Moms blog. I will put a link down in the bottom, in the description box. Okay, so let me show you my first project. And it's two cards that I made that are very similar. I just changed the color scheme. And these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter size cards. And let's see. I have like a maroonish red mat that's four and one eighth by four and one eighth. And this um, black and white damask pattern, I printed from the Cricut Imagine black and white cartridge. And it's cut at four by four. And then my little vase here I got from the Walk in My Garden cartridge. I wrote down the size, and then I can't find my piece of paper that I wrote the size down, but I believe it's around two and a half. And I ran it through the cuddle bug embossing folder called Victoria, and it matches this damask like almost perfectly. I love using these two together. And I hot glued some flowers. These black flowers um, is from this little jar I got at Michael's. And the little red flowers I also got at Michael's, and I don't think they're carrying these anymore. I noticed that... They were being clearanced out, and I really love these flowers because they're so tiny, and now I'm really kind of sad. I hope they bring them back. And then I just added some little bling to the center of them that I also got at Michael's. And down here, I added some black seam binding ribbon. My seam binding ribbon came from Liz's Paper Loft. She has her own little boutique. I'll put a link down to that also for you. And then I just added some um, more of the bling to the ribbon. And on the inside I stamped, thank you for your friendship. And I did another one of the cards exactly the same, just with a pink theme. You know, I always have to make a pink card. And I stamped this one with many thanks. So that's um, my first project with the um, new stamps. I wanted to show you something really quickly. The four and a quarter by four and a quarter size cards will fit in a standard A2 size envelope. But I like to put a piece of cardstock in with the envelope so it doesn't um, bend and could damage the card. So I usually just cut a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half to fit inside the envelope, just to help protect a little bit. And if I've used any kind of embossing on my card, I like to try to emboss the um, cardstock also, just so it matches, just so a little touch, a little extra touch. That's all. I just wanted to share that uh, little idea with you. So, anyways. Hop on over to the Scrappy Mom's blog and pick up your new stamps. Thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.